All right, in this video, we're going to play Medieval Total War Viking Invasion. Now, recently, I've got back into uh, Total War, and I was playing, I think I was playing England in the, a series I currently got going, and I decided, let's, let's also take a look at Viking Invasion. I haven't played this in ages. And one of my favorite factions to play was Ireland. Now they list it as hard. I would actually put this as moderate because really it's not too much to get this whole island. And that is going to be the first part of this strategy is to capture the island. Then I like to take Manau, if I'm pronouncing that right, um, get that because it has iron and iron's important. Here's some iron over here. I remember this. Um, the Scottish over here, they don't really have a navy of note, but the big threat of course is the Vikings. So as I recall, it's important to get out as many troops early to these five, or what are these, six, yeah, five provinces, because they will get boats around here in probably 10 years, you'll be surrounded by boats. So very important to sort of guard all these provinces until I get my own navy situated, which takes a long time. Um, Ireland, by the way, a little history, uh, Ireland was not a Roman province. Um, Unlike uh, England, which uh, Britain, which was a Roman province, um, England was actually not conquered by the Roman military. But what they could not conquer through military means, they were able to send missionaries over here. So um, after Rome fell um, and ceased becoming uh, or ceased being a military influence or military power, it became a religious. Uh, it used religion to influence people. And so they dispatched all these missionaries, and uh, of course, the patron saint of Ireland. Let's see if you can guess it. I bet you can. Yes, <laughs> I bet you can. It's St. Patrick, of course. But do you know who the patron saint of England is? I bet not a lot of people will guess that one. Or maybe, maybe you will, if you live in England. It's actually the patron saint is Augustine. And what happened was uh, Patrick sort of set up this system of monasteries over here. That was the system that was set up to administer the religion, um, where you have abbots that are, that are in control of these monasteries. So it was a very monastic style of existence over here. Augustine had a very had a very different uh, idea in terms of how to set up or administer the church in England. He set up the system of bishop, uh, bishops. So really, the bishops had a lot of power. He had all this hierarchy that was set up, and it was uh, so that's how he set it up. And those differences. Uh, exist uh, to today. They've had a profound influence on both of these countries and some of the animosities that they've had uh, over the course of their existence. Anyways, I, I will not digress too much. Let's get going. Um, and let's, I got a fly over here I want to get rid of. And he's being a little pesky. Okay, so what we want to do, of course, is do we want to sign out? Let's look at this does here. It gives you some dread, command, and loyalty. I'm just taking a look at the title here. Of course, if you watch my other videos, you know I call this the governorship. But uh, so this guy, some loyalty, which is really what you're after. The dread's good too. Um, okay, so let's immediately start building out our army. And I'm going to use the best units we got so far the spearmen. And let's also get watchtowers out right away. So we start out small, but we're not really surrounded by a lot of threats. But the big threat, of course, is going to be the Vikings. We'll be here in probably 10 moves. You'll start to see their boats maybe earlier. I'm trying to remember this. Um, so let's get some shrines going. We'll get a border fort. Um, and I want to get out the uh, wheat bonuses as quickly as possible. Uh, let's take a look at our loyalty. I re as I remember in my Viking Invasion, loyalty is more of a problem than the main game, it seems. It seems like I had more revolts here. So we'll use these guys. Uh, I actually, let's we'll continue on, uh, but I do want to get a governor over here. Let's see what this guy gives. Oh, he gives, he gives a little bit more. That's nice. And Brega. All right, so we got our prince. And let's see what his loyalty is. It's not so good. So we'll stick him under the king. And 
We've got a bishop over here. That's good. Uh, I do want to get... Actually, you know what? We're going to cancel the shrine because I do want to be able to make some some peasants. Yeah, I know we got disloyal generals. I get that fully. Uh, let's see if there's anybody loyal in here. Well, there's this guy. But I don't know if he has the power to lead. It's probably one of these guys. Yeah, this guy has the power to lead. So let's, let's put him in charge of the army. And should we make him... Should we make him the, the leader? I like to keep... You know, I really do like to make uh, one of the peasants that will maintain control. Uh, I, I usually like to keep them... Um, make them the governor. But I don't know. You guys might have different thoughts. Oh, you know what? The Vikings sure showed up. There they are. First boat. And they're, the, they're our biggest threat early on. And as they should be, I guess the name of the expansion pack is Viking Invasion, after all. And, of course, they get that point where uh, they can jump a move ahead of you and attack. That's that's a tremendous ability, tremendously dangerous ability. Let's send uh, some units down here, and let's just keep building. Let's check the, the projected profits is still good. And let's bump up the taxes here. As I recall, all of these make pretty good money, all of these provinces here. So um, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's let's build some peasants. And we're going to immediately, like I said, the main goal of this uh, part one of this uh, series is to get control of this island. That's, that's really important. And to have it fortified to some extent with troops because um, the Vikings will... I like the fact that it has a port. Uh, the Vikings will start sending a lot of... Uh, it's just They're just a general nuisance. It's not that I have a hard time usually dealing with them, but uh, their raiding ability is, is what really bothers me more than anything. Okay, I think we got... Okay, so we got some peasants here. That guy's really loyal, so let's give him the governorship. That's good. And... We will keep him separated from the king so I can... Uh, I just like to keep these separated because I don't want to take this guy into battle. That's not the point of this. He's just The point of him is to maintain the order, maintain order in the province that he's been assigned. So I think we'll take two more and then send those guys up here. Meanwhile, let's continue on. We're going to need a lot of spearmen. I, I want no doubt here that we're going to capture this island relatively shortly. And good, we got. Let's let's check this out. We've got a got a princess coming along. That's good. They're important early on. Keep the loyalty. And since this guy probably might get become a general, I might actually marry him off. But let's let's hold off. Let's see if he actually does become the general. I think he will, but uh, we want to make sure. And yeah, like I said, as I recall, the uh, I, it seems like when I I play, I used to play this just twenty four seven, and uh, I do kind of remember. It seems like there were more civil wars in Viking Invasion. And, and, and I could be wrong, but it just seems like it, it could be just me. But it seems like there were more, uh, more civil wars going on, more more problems. Okay, so we've got these two guys. Oh, good loyalty off of them. I like that. So let's send them over here, and we'll immediately, yeah. So the, these two guys are highly loyal. That's good. And now I think we're ready to launch our first attack. We're gonna hold off. I'm building units. Let's get the improved wheat. Uh, let's also check our finances. 518. That is good. Okay. And then I immediately want to start building a port because we got to get boats out. That's huge. I want to do a block here in this sea right here. You know, we're going to block the English Channel. Um, I know it wasn't called the English Channel in those days, but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to use this long name. Um, I'll just make a fool of myself. But yeah, well, I just want to block these three seas right here. And then maybe stick a, just a couple boats over here. Because the Vikings actually can get out here too in the open ocean. And they can swing around real easily. And it's happened when I used to play this game. They swing around, hit you here, and you think you're safe. You're not because there's a boat out here. So we'll just... Uh... Okay, so the question is which... You know what? I think we're going to invade this province first. Because I don't even have a star on this general yet. 
So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to take this guy and move him down. And we'll take that province, and hopefully we can get him ranked up here a little bit. Um, maybe not. They retreated. Or did they? I didn't see what happened there. Okay, so, wow. Uh, they really don't like us here. So let's start to, let's just keep this guy pinned here. And let's actually send, no, we're going to keep, how's the profits going? Pretty good. So we're going to build a couple more spearmen just to keep this, these provinces safe from the Vikings. Because, you know, they will, as soon as the Vikings sense weakness, they come. They will come and raid. And uh, they were a terror to to uh, England before it was. Of course, it wasn't England um, back in these uh, early times. It wasn't England. It was a uh, series of uh, Anglo-Saxon kings right um but they didn't have total control and i guess the scary thing was uh if you're going to get invaded in medieval times uh you better hope that the you at least hope it's i mean it's never a good thing but you at least hope that the army was christian because they would um they would at least adhere to uh you know you one of the one of the safe places you could go was the church it was a place of refuge you could go there but of course the vikings didn't we're not uh as you know they they uh odin was their god not not uh at that point so um and of course they did invade look at that so yeah it was uh it was uh, this uh, a lot of people lived in in terror and of course it was alfred who eventually was able to unify england basically through beer, uh creating a lot of castles especially in the coastline to prevent uh, prevent and uh, keep the Vikings out. But they were a menace uh, not only to England, but also to uh, Charlemagne. Uh, they helped um, bring a, a, about, they were one of the contributing factors um, to causing problems with, not Charlemagne, but the, um, I, I think I think it was the Frankish Empire where they were causing some problems. Um, and uh, of course you had the Hungarians too, uh, horsemen, the cavalry out there, that was, that was a problem too for, uh, for the uh, Franks. Okay, so um, let's see. We've got, uh, we can bump up the taxes here. And I just want to make sure we're continuing to build. We did, of course, get attacked. So I'm glad we built the, the I mean, the Vikings didn't waste any time. So I'm assuming we got to keep these provinces uh, somewhat occupied with, with, with good units. And here they come, right? They're just... Yeah, so that's good. At least they're ranking up our general. That's good. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna just continue building. And this was a mistake when I used to play this game. Was uh, I, I sort of I had to learn the hard way that the Vikings can move very quickly in terms of launching attacks early game. They're a menace early game. So you have to have uh, you you should keep a lot of troops in all these provinces until I can get a navy out, which I'm trying to do. Okay, so this yeah, it's starting to come up here a little bit. Let's let's build a Christian shrine. That'll give us a plus one morale. And then we'll get the silver mine going. That's a good early money maker. And let's get the wheat going. I call it the wheat. I know it's farmland. And then we'll also build uh, some ports here because we want it we want we want to be able to build as many many boats as we can. Now I'm tempted. Tempted to use this guy as our general now. Because we got a three star here. We'll have to think about that. We may take him into battle. But let's just keep uh let's see what the revenue is. It's good. So let's let's continue to add spearmen. We're gonna need a lot of them. And uh, it's kind of cool you get to start out with them right away. The Mer yeah, we'll 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 take that. And we'll we'll be friends with the Scots for a moment. We're gonna try to invade them. Uh and uh, you know, we don't care. And a good thing is we don't have to worry about the Pope! Yeah, Pope's all the way down in Italy. He doesn't care about what's going on up here. So um, we don't have to worry about him uh, issuing crusades against us. That was one of the things I really liked about Viking invasion. Didn't have to get all those threats from the Pope. That was uh, it's a really nice part of this game. Okay. Um, we almost, we still need some more spearmen, for sure. And let's check the loyalty factor. It's pretty darn good. 
We have a few disloyal princes. I don't know why the princes would start out disloyal. But, I, I mean, of course, there's a lot of treachery in courts in the Middle Ages. I'm not suggesting there wasn't, but, um, yeah, I guess I guess that does make sense. You might have some disaffected sons that don't like you. I guess that makes sense. Um, I think we... I think we could fairly easily win this battle, but I'm tempted. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build three more, four more spearmen, and then we'll go on the offensive and try to take that province. The key is to get this island as quickly as possible so that nobody else establishes a presence on here and to get your boats out. That was the other mistake when I used to play the Irish. I didn't build the Navy. I didn't, I, I, you got to get going on that right away. I mean, right away. As soon as you can get the boats, you got to start building it. That was a big mistake. I, I, I can even remember. I'd be like, oh, I'd just be make, humming along here and not pay attention to the Navy. And all of a sudden, everybody from the mainland and the Vikings are all invading me. So, All right, so let's get a loyal. We're going to have to keep some troops pinned down here. So let's let's get this guy. We'll keep him there, and then we'll use the uh, governor to go on the offensive. One thing that is um, a risk here is that the Mercians. You hope that the the Mercians usually half the time will overrun this whole island. And maybe 150 years. And if you don't get over there and stop it, um, that that's so. This is sort of a, a, a thing where you've got to get over here and at least stop whoever. It's usually either the Saxons or the Mercians, but not always. But usually one of those two will win out, and they'll start pushing up north. And if you don't you don't stop them, they'll overrun that whole island, and then you're basically, you know, you're you're just into a, a very difficult situation to try to become world or at least conqueror of uh of the main of of england right yeah and scotland all right so we can build our first boat builder we'll do that um this i'm not well yeah let's do the port then we'll do the forest clearing let's check i just want to keep an eye on that profits okay so it's a little bit starting to take a little bit of a hit we'll build one more actually i, I changed my mind we'll build two more spearmen then we're going to go on the offensive I want to make absolutely sure that the Vikings don't come in there and take this, because then if if they get if they land on your island, it's a huge problem getting them out, because they got that bonus where they can move before you can strike them, and that's kind of a problem. In fact, I'm thinking maybe we'll put this guy here. Let's see if we can still yes. So we still have have the loyalty where they're not going to revolt. So I think that's good. Actually, I feel pretty good. Let's cancel this and let's go on the offensive here. And we'll have all four uh, provinces relatively shortly. And I'm going to take a guess that the Scots don't really have a navy of merit yet. So, but this first things first, we got to get, get this place situated. Um, and did the, yeah, did the, what happened here? We got a lot of princes that are taking up, uh, you get too many princes, it's kind of a pain because uh, they take up a lot of your projected profits, but the profits are still good. That's good. We're still at, um, yeah, I mean, we're still doing pretty good on that, that number. Thousand florins a month. That's not bad. Okay. Um, and what I want to do is build some more, actually, you know what? I'm going to build a warrior, warrior hold. I'm not really worried about assassins this early. So let's get a warrior hold. And then what I want to do is get, um, let's get the watchtower up and let's build a couple peasants, maybe three of them or two of them. And we'll send, uh, we need actually four of them. Actually, we need, we do need four. We'll do it that way. We're going to build, actually, we're going to need I'm going to assign three to these back provinces just because uh, those can tend to be, you know, since I just took them, they're not quite as loyal. They haven't bought into our, uh, our program that we're selling. It's, oh, you know, that just triggered something. So when, um, when 
uh, Rome was sending up their missionaries up into these regions in Northern Europe, um, and, and you know, into Ireland, into England. They were running, you know, this it was very tribal, of course, and into the uh, Northern Europe, into modern Germany, modern, um, you know, modern day uh, France, and, and, and to the Netherlands, all these, uh, uh, you know, in, into these areas. Um, it basically was a sales job. They're coming there and saying, here, here's Christ as the Savior. Please buy our message and please convert. Uh, but that message in some of those regions was not taken so well. They, you know, this, this was brutal times. You know, these tribals, uh, these, it was very tribal, a lot of warfare, um, and a lot of killing, a lot of savagery. And they didn't really kind of like that message uh, as Christ as the Savior. So the, uh, you know, the church in Rome kind of had to uh, change the message a little bit, and they came up with Christ as the warrior. Yeah, that's right. So, they, so you'll see a lot of the Christian art during that time period with uh, Jesus uh, holding a sword or something. That was, uh, they could sell that. Uh, that, was, that was more relatable to some of these very battle-hardened tribes. Anyways, I digress again. Let's continue on. Um, we've got our first potential governor candidate, and he's got a lot of loyalty, so let's give it to him. And then we'll send a few more. I think we're just going to go right after Scotland. I think we're going to go right after Scotland and get seize control of the whole island. And what am I doing here? I'm talking away, and we I want to get the, the slipway built so we can get the, the better ships. Uh, let's build a port here, and then hopefully what we can do is even capture, uh, this is such an important island right in the middle here. Very important. It has iron, as I recall, so what's the loyalty on this guy? It's not bad. We'll send him over here, and we'll just keep producing these guys, chucking them out like a factory. And there you can see the merchants are the richest, so that that's always... You know what I worry about that they're just going to overrun everybody on that island. So I used to just you know spend a lot of time over here, take my time, kind of build things. Okay, but then you know what would happen? Like I said, the Mercians or, or the Saxons usually, uh, so not always, but uh, they would overrun the whole island, and then it's just really difficult to get over there, even make a landing. It's very difficult, and especially if you let them get a navy. You know they they can they can just expand. I mean this is expert mode after all. So you know, that guy has a lot of loyalty. Probably should have given him the, uh, the governorship, but we didn't have him at that point. So let's send him down here. And I think we're going to use... Let's see how... Let's just move this guy off for a second and test... Oh, no. We're not even close. So we need another... Maybe even another couple more peasants over there. Okay, so we'll continue on. Um, I think we can just... Yeah, let's not forget about what we've got to build. And we'll build that and then start clearing the forest. That was a great little uh, idea of clearing the forest because a lot of the forests hadn't been cleared by this point. So that, that was kind of cool, whoever developed the game. Well, it was creative. Uh, what was the name of it? Creative Arts? Creative Assembly? I'm trying to remember the name of it now. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. Let's move this guy off again and see what the loyalty is. It's not bad. We could, yeah, let's cut it all the way down and let's go after Scotland now. And we're going to send a couple more over here just in case they have an, a boat here where they could launch a, an attack, counterattack, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. And maybe in 10 years, we'll forget about all this. Well, that was a lot of treaties canceled, um, but we don't really care. It's more important. Okay, so there's a Viking boat. I don't see one in this area, so that's good. And so we'll just... Don't want to make the mistake of not sending troops down here, though. So we are going to build... I think we got things pretty steady right now. We've got a lot of... Probably should take a look at the princesses here. Oh, let's build. We got to get a boat builder on that island. Um, 16, 15. She's 29. All right, so let's let's marry her off to this guy. That's Don't want her to become an old maid. And, okay, so we're about to take this. Hopefully Scotland will forget about this in 10 years and forgive us. Boy, the... Loyalty is not good over there, but we don't have a lot of troops. 
And you gotta really, like I said, watch those Vikings because they've already attacked us. And I, you know, as soon as they get a boat here, they can go on the offensive. So I want to have enough to deal with that in case they do decide to launch an attack, which they very likely will. So we're let's take a look at the profits, eight ninety eight, and let's build. We'll send three units down there. We've got three here. That should be good enough for those. These are the ones that face the biggest threat. And we've got more than enough to... I wonder if we have a prince that we can... Yes, let's send one of the princes and put him in charge over here so we've got a ranked general over there. That would be nice. And he has some good loyalty. That guy is really loyal. You know, Actually, you know what? We're going to switch places here because this is the governor. So he's going to come over here. And we're going to put the prince over here. And things are pretty good. We need to start getting that navy going. Oh. Boy, I'd hate to I hate to wait two turns, but let's let's just go ahead and do it. I I definitely want to block, block the English channel first. You know, we're going to we're going to just send these two guys down here. That's good enough for now. And I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to get going on building our navy. We're going to put six boats here, five here, five here, two here, two here. And we'll have the island completely blocked. So, you know, then, then it becomes a question of their navy versus our navy. I'd rather have that than letting the Vikings make a landing. Okay, so, um, all right, this is pretty good. King just died, so let's see. We still got all princes. Okay. Is this guy a prince? Whoops. Yes, he still is. Let's check his loyalty. Not good. So the loyalty dropped a little bit, which is to be expected with a new ruler. I think we're just going to put all these guys for now under, under their control because we have good loyalty there. We'll merge these armies when we get a sec, uh, get a chance to. So the loyalty is good there. Can't marry a prince. That, well, you can, but it's it's looked it's frowned upon. But we will keep marrying some of our princesses off, so we don't forget about it. And let's get the navy going, and then we should be in good shape. So what do we want to build next here? I think we should go, yeah, let's go for the keep. That will get us access to the church, which we want. So I think all of these provinces now are pretty well defended. And let's just keep building away. We'll get a shrine over here. And we'll get everything queued up. I think this looks pretty good. Okay. We should have our first boat here in a little bit. And there we go. And of course the Vikings took this all important island, which means that unfortunately I'm going to have to defeat, uh, defeat that, uh, lone boat, which might not be so difficult, but let's just keep building our Navy. Very important to get that Navy out as quickly as possible. It's not a mistake I like to make. You can see the Vikings are already being pretty disruptive here causing problems with Northumbria, which we don't mind. Actually, they do serve a purpose. You want to, I hope they can keep this area as unbalanced as, as possible because we kind of want to do the divide and conquer thing. That's, that's the whole point of medieval total war. Um, but this is going to be a little bit difficult to displace the Vikings off that island, but they're at least looks like they're wreaking havoc over on the mainland. So that's good. They do serve a purpose after all. We just don't want them wreaking havoc with us. That's the main thing. Uh, we've got a marriage proposal. We'll take it. That's fine. Um, let's check and see. We do have another princess coming along. That's good. And we get to do some more building. I think we'll try to get some a keep on that island as well. So we can at least get a church. We definitely want that church to be built. And then we'll some one of the two of the provinces will fully expand out just so we have everything. So we got the royal mint, all of the facilities, and we'll probably do that in the capital. 
Okay, so the Welsh leader is gone. Saxons want to send us... Want to be friends. We'll be friends with people early on. We don't mind. We'll be friends with everybody. Until it's not time to be friends. So just check in here. And I do want to take a crack at these, but these Viking boats are very good. And very dangerous. Yeah, see, this guy's got deep sea ability, everything. So I want to have at least... I have a quite, quite a few boats there. In fact, let's just build a couple of these smaller boats just, just to increase the size of our navy when we do finally launch that attack. But I certainly don't... You know, I've had it before where I was fighting the Viking boats, and I, as I recall, and they were in history, actually very skilled, um, skilled at their navy. So it's what got them... It's, what, it's how they... I mean, boats were their entire key to their existence. Uh, they used uh, rivers too, by the way. A lot of rivers. They would go down rivers and show up. Uh, they actually laid siege to Paris at one point, if you can believe that. They got there. They got all the way down to Sicily, all the way to Kiev. All, the, all these. Uh, so they went a long ways, the Vikings. They went a long ways. Um, okay, so we had, we lost our king. And now we've got no princes. We don't even have a single prince. That's how old is this guy? We could, this could be well, at least he's sixteen. So let's hope he lives a long and fruitful life. And let's see which which ones we want to keep here. I don't know if we want to keep all of these guys. Well, okay, we can get rid of the. He's kind of disloyal. We'll get rid of him. I want to try to keep the guys that are, are, are somewhat loyal. Now, this guy's not totally unloyal, but let's get, let's get rid of him. And how's this guy doing, loyalty? He's, he's not bad, but you know what? We're going to get rid of him, too. And then what we're going to do is send over the loyal guys and assign them out. So we'll sign this guy, send him over there. Our Navy's getting bigger, slowly but surely. And... We'll just keep this guy here, I think. Or you know what? Let's let's send him down there. We'll just have rank generals in every, almost every, pro well, every province, yeah. And then we've got a one princess. That's that's not good. So we need him to start producing some off offspring. I don't even care if he's how young he is. They didn't matter. It didn't matter in those times, right? Um. Okay, so we've got our first keep. That's good. And probably want a royal palace here at some point as well. So let's get the king's army set. He's all set. And I'm a little nervous we're not going to get that you've given birth to a son message for a while. That can be... Uh, I remember that used to be pretty dicey. You know, you're sitting there waiting for the... The heir apparent, and he's not coming along. Oh, more boats show up. Oh, boy. Okay, so we're going to have to have a site. At least we have a navy of some merit. Um, but they are definitely... The Vikings want to ally with you. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the Vikings are a good, good group to ally with early. And so we might... Do we want to break that? No, we don't want to break it quite yet. I do want to take that island, though. That's going to be the key. Okay, I think this is a good place to call it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.